Okay, so in here, question is the same. That is, find number forces or find all the number forces in the truss. So we're looking for the force in every member of this truss. <coughs> so the first thing we do is, again, we number the joints. I'm going to call this as joint A. Then we call this as joint D. Then we call this as joint C. Call this as joint B. And call this as joint E. So <coughs> just to check, everything is. I mean, sufficient information, you look at the members. You have F, there's going to be a member force FAD, which is in this. There's going to be a member force FTC, which will be this. Then you're going to have a member force FAE, that's here. Then you're going to have <coughs> a member force FCD, that should be this. Then you should have a member force FCE, that should be this. Then you have uh, one second. <coughs> F C D F C E F C B and then you have F B E. So <coughs> force in here is taken as F E D, force in here is taken F A E, then force in here is taken F C D. Then force is taken FCE, FCB, and FBE. So each member has uh, one single unknown force. So that gives you six unknown member forces. <coughs> There's one unknown per member, so six members. So you get six of those. <coughs> then there is a hinge here that gives you two reactions. So there's a roller here that gives you one. Then you have a hinge here that's two, that's three, and we should be missing one member, which is F D E. So it's really not six, it's seven. <coughs> So these are the three unknown reactions. It all adds up to 10 unknowns. Then <coughs> you have 10 unknowns. You have five joints. So you have five joints. You will have two equations a joint, that means you have 10 equations of equilibrium. So <coughs> each joint gives you two equations. So for the five joints, you get 10 equations of equilibrium. That means the number of unknowns, I mean this number of unknowns, match this number of unknowns. That also means that this problem is statically determine it. That means you have <coughs> enough equations to solve for all the unknowns in this particular problem. Now th the next thing would be to look at the reactions. So there is a reaction here that's Ay. There is a reaction here which is Bx. There is a reaction here that is By. Then we sum the force in x that should go to zero. That gives you 500 plus bx. That's zero. That's one equation. Then you sum the force in y direction to be zero. You get a y minus 500 minus 1,000 minus b y equals zero. Then we sum the moments and let's sum this about b. So it's going to give you a y times 20. Then that's going one direction, and that's 
counterclockwise, let's clockwise, let's make it negative, plus 500 times 10, and that's about it, so it goes to 0. So that gives you a y as, so let's choose uh, 250 pounds, came out positive, it stays going up. And from here, you could find by as 250, <coughs> so that's 1500 minus 250, that's 1250 pounds. That also keeps going up. Then from here, you find Vx, that's negative 500 pounds. It was going left to right, so you get 500 pounds, and change direction, make it right to left. <coughs> so that's all we get when we look at the overall equilibrium of this problem. <coughs> then we need angles. This is 10, this is 10, so that's 45. Same thing going to be here, 10 and 10, that's 45. So every angle in this problem really is 45. 